you're going to be spending today with the one that you love, then good for you. I hate you. <coughs> guess what today is, cloud dwellers? Go on, guess you'll never get it right. It's Communist Martyrs Day. Adore. And it's also this other little event that, you know, not many people know about yet. It's, it's called Valentine's Day or something. I don't know either. Like I said, it's a new thing. It's not really got off the ground just yet. So in the spirit of this Valentine's Day, I'm going to show you how to be a good... Valentine? What is my expert knowledge of being with lady people all the time? I'm so alone. I can safely say that I am an expert in this field. And with this expert knowledge, I'm going to expertly explain how to be an expert at being an expert Valentine. For your Valentine. Step one, the Valentine's Day card. If you are new to this Valentine's Day thing, what with it being a little bit underground at this point, then you may not know why a card is needed. Well, Neither do I, but it's in the steps, so just do it. Step 1A. Create the card. This is of course an option. You may very well be able to buy a card in a card shop, but what with it being a relatively small event at this point, it may be easier just to stick with creating it. Make sure you create slash buy a card that the receiver may relate to. For example, if your Valentine has an obsession with One Direction, give them a card filled with the blood from your ears and urinary tract. Step 1 AA. How to make your orifices bleed. Simply play a song performed by One Direction and within just a matter of moments, you'll be able to fill an elephant's tusk with the blood now pouring from said orifices. Step 1 B. Writing your card. Your main priority is to make sure that you put the right name into the card. The last thing you want to do is address it to Carol and then give it to Lindsay. Trust me, that's, that's not what you want to happen. You also need to express your emotions with true honesty. I'm going to write out my card for the love of my life as an example. Dear Heather Graham, you are smoking hot. Like, hot. Um... I love you, yours forever and everness, Linus. Oh, P.S. Next time, I would prefer to have either a card or a thank you in return, rather than the joke that was the restraining order. Step 1C. Find a good time to give them the card. Preferably when they are alone, although try to avoid darkened alleys. They don't tend to work out well, especially when you're wearing a hood. In my defence, it was raining and I can't mess my hair up. If you want to remain anonymous, then perhaps leave the card in a place where you know they will find it. Like their underwear drawer. Or, you know, somewhere less creepy. How do they even get in? Anyway, step two, the date. Now on this Valentine's Day, it is custom to take your Valentine on a date. The popular thing is to take them to a restaurant. Make sure you go out with a budget in mind. Don't be easy and give them everything they want. This, this stuff costs money, woman. I mean, are you gonna be paying 28 pound and 99 pence for half a crab? I didn't think so. We are. So lower your expectations next time, perhaps. Of course, the other alternative is to take them out to the cinema or the Magic Lantern show if you're 102. This is a great place to go because you don't have to talk to them. And what is better than not having to listen to a lady human talk? Am I right, guys? I'm going to die alone. Whilst you're in the cinema, assuming all is going well, you can try the irresistible cuddle technique. It works 60% of the time, every time. And I realise that doesn't make any sense, but that's how good it is. It works so well, it doesn't make sense. Simply follow these precise actions. A. Look at her, nod your head gently, and then smile. Or you can wink. If she doesn't slap your facial features off and instead smiles or winks back, you're in business. B. Act as though you are stretching. The key is to let the stretch linger for a while, teasing her. Then, after just the right amount of teasing has occurred, slowly lower your arms, casually slipping one around the back of her head. If at this point she breaks your arm, then my friend, you have a winner. Bank her immediately, she fights D1. If, on the other hand, she graciously accepts your irresistible smoothness, then prepare for an evening of this. Winning! Hell yeah! After that, it's up to you. Be strong, fellas. If it doesn't work out, there's always laptops. Oh, and ladies, I know I've not been much help with this little Valentine's thing, uh, so here's what you need to do. 
Nothing. We'll do all the bloody work. I can safely say that I am an expert in this field. Don't know what happened there. <laughs>